Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King's Pet Channel. One week into ROX OBT, I am going to show you my progress so far. I am going to share with you mainly on my build and also I will be testing my DPS damage per second. Let's jump right into it. First of all, I want to thank all of you guys watching this video for giving support to this channel, for liking the videos and subscribe to the channel. It means so much to me. Okay, after having tested all of the job class in ROX, when the server is finally live, I have decided to choose the Archer class. And now I am already changed job to Hunter. I am going for the Falcon Hunter build. If you have been watching my job class video guide, you may have noticed that there is no Falcon Hunter build. This is because I personally myself haven't tried the build yet. I have been searching online for Falcon Hunter build tips way before the ROX SES server opened, but there are not many. It is a rather tricky build with a lot of testing yet need to be done on which equipment and stat point is suitable for Falcon Hunter. That being said, with so much uncertainty, I will make my Hunter a Falcon build. I'm not going to lie, it makes me nervous because this is like a test and error for me. The Falcon build might fail, but if it fail, then I will be the one to fail, so you guys don't have to do what I did. Alright, first thing first, what stage should we put on Falcon Hunter build? To know that, we need to look at the Hunter skill, the Falconry Mastery skill. This skill will allow us to use the Falcon to attack. You can get the Falcon at Falcon Keeper NPC in Frontera for 10,000 Zeni. It's said here, normal attack have a chance to trigger a Falcon attack. Triggering this effect deals, meaning the Falcon attack will deal, and here is a formula for the Falcon attack calculation. Basically, there are three components for the Falcon attack. The Steel Crow skill damage, plus INT damage, plus DEX damage, plus some extra damage. Now let's look at the Steel Crow skill. This is at max level, sending your Falcon to attack increase attack by 80 plus 200% of INT. Now if we look back at the three components of the Falcon attack, the Steel Crow damage will depend on the INT state. So now you can see that Falcon build is highly depends on the INT state compared to DEX. Next, the skill set the Falcon attack is a sacred physical damage that is ignore defend. Having higher luck increases the chance to trigger the Falcon attack. So now we also need the luck state to trigger the Falcon attack. The information that I got from the Chinese players in Taiwan version is that one point of luck increases around 0.3% chance of the falcon attack. So to have 100% falcon attack, that is equivalent to about 333 luck. Now the falcon attack will be much easier to be triggered after we advance the second job change to sniper. The sniper skill, specifically the wild awakening skill, at max level, it has the chance to trigger the beast attack by 20%. Let's convert that to luck state. 20% divided by 0.3% is around 66 luck. So the total luck, 233 minus 66 is 267 luck. So we are going to aim for 267 luck to get 100% falcon attack. Obviously, at this stage, it is hard to get around 200 luck state. Even if I put all stat point to luck at level 43, I can only get 129 luck. That being said, if I happen to get the luck state to 333, which means 100% falcon attack, I will still deal lower damage because I don't have the INT state. The ideal way to balance the luck and INT state is first to get luck state at the equipment enchantment. Depending on how many luck you can get on enchantment and get the rest of the luck by increasing your stat point. After you have enough luck, you can then increase the INT state. 
my progress so far, I haven't get the enchantment yet. I'm still focusing on upgrading my weapon to 60, accessories to 15, and the armor to 30. After that, increase the refine slowly to plus 4, so it's still a long way to go. I'm doing the normal way whereby I haven't been using crystal to buy the upgrading materials yet in exchange to upgrade the equipment. I did top up for crystal though to get the costume and change my avatar border and also to buy this card. The skeleton walker card. When I get it, it was 60,000 crystal, which is quite cheap. I remember this in Taiwan server, it is twice the price. When I saw this in exchange, I thought I need to get it. But after that, I regret it because I'm planning to build Falcon Hunter and the crit state of this card will do no good to the build. I just wasted the crystals. Move on to the equipment. I am still using level 25 golden teeth bug set for accessories and talisman that give the attack speed which is good. I'm not planning to switch it to the level 40 white set which has the crit state. As I mentioned earlier, the crit will do no good to the falcon bio. I might as well increase my attack speed for now. The weapon and armor I change it to level 40 white set so that I can have the level 40 set bonus. As for the cards, I just use whatever I got at the moment, mostly from the free cards that you get from rewards, apart from the skeleton walker card which I regret buying. For costume, for the head costume, I have the W doll head which you can get from the Kavra service. Just use the teleport service for 100 times and you can unlock the gift favor to the W Kavra teleport NPC. You can get this headgear at 25% gift favor. This head costume increases 5% damage to the undead. This is useful in the early game as I mostly farming EXP at the skeleton worker map. The back costume that you can get for free from the launch celebration event just for cosmetic no extra state and for the ice costume I got lucky. I opened a free headgear chest rewards that I got and got this angel spirit eye costume which give you 2% attack and magic attack. This is the best eye costume that you can get for the eye costume. Like one of the ROX YouTube video content creator Bejo said, Saya Hoki ya teman-teman, saya Bejo, saya Hoki. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. I like that he is also share his knowledge about this game and not reserve about it. Alright, next is my skill set. The important skills is these three skills. Falcon Remastery, Blitz Beat, and Steel Crow. Put the Steel Crow to max for the Falcon attack. Blitz Beat skill, make sure you up the skill so that the variable and fixed cooldown is not exceed 12 seconds. Because this skill can give you attack speed buff for 12 seconds and can stack for 5 times. So if you increase the skill level too high and have over 12 seconds cooldown, you can't stack the attack speed. Falcon Remastery I put to level 5 for now just to unlock the Blitz Beat skill. I will put this skill to max once I have enough luck to get my Falcon attack. The other skill, let's look at the Archer skill first. Owl's Eye and Vulture's Eyes is max. Double Strap skill to level 5 to unlock the Arrow Shower. Arrow Shower skill only level 1 because I won't be using this too much. Even at early game, I have only level 1 arrow shower skill so I can use it more often with lesser skill cooldown. For farming, I only use level 1 double strap skill with the same reason, so that I can use it more with lower skill cooldown. One point on charge arrow skill for the stun effect to use it for PvP in KBM. Now, the elemental arrow, I didn't up this skill because I didn't use it as much when in farming ESP. And also, I need more skill points to up the hunter skill. For MVP or PvP, you definitely need to max this skill for the debuff effect and also the 10% skill damage increase. 
I suggest to use the fire arrow for MVP hunt and PvP. The fire arrow have the chance to give burn debuff to the target which help you deal a lot of damage. Especially in PvP, it will help your team to defeat your opponent faster. I put one point in Ankle's Nest skill to test it in Endless Tower. The trap skill in general deal an AOE area of effect damage. It is actually useful in ET. Next, the Hunter skill. Improved concentration and beast band skill is max. I put focus shot 1 point, same reason with the arrow shower and double strap skill. I want to use this skill in lower skill cooldown, so I can use it more often for farming EXP. Alright, let's go for a damage test. Let's use the wooden dummy as a test subject. The skill that I'm going to use is the improved concentration for the dex and AG buff, double strafe, blitz beat and focus shot. We're going to test it for at least 60 seconds so it will be more accurate. Let's start. See that the Blitz Beat skill is stacking. Every stack will increase our attack speed. Okay, now at 60 seconds or 1 minute, my DPS damage per second is around 6100 damage. Normal attack deal the most damage and the Falconry Mastery skill is the lowest. This is the falcon attack damage. With my stat at the moment, I cannot make the falcon attack yet. So guys, if you are a free player or a casual player or just a normal citizen like me as what the players in Taiwan server calls it, you know the lower part of the spending hierarchy. At the top, we have the Sultan, very rich, have a lot of resources for the game. In the middle is the middle class and at the bottom is the normal citizen. I will be posting my progress from time to time so you can compare it with your stats. That's it for my Falcon Hunter progress so far. I hope you learned something from the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you will be notified when I post a new video. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.